Hi, I'm Nancy Bushing and I work at Promotion Physical Therapy and we're going to do a little exercise session today. And this is probably for people who want about level one to two. So have a chair handy, have some comfortable clothes on and we'll get started. So let's start out with marching. We're going to march, oh, probably a couple minutes just to kind of get the blood flowing. So we're just going to march back and forth. You can just march in place. Just back and forth, back and forth. This is a good time to get moving. If you've been sitting too long in your house, it'll actually make you feel good. Get those endorphins moving. Keep it going. If you ever have questions, just make sure to give Promotion a call. Our number is 399-9565. Let's see how we're going on this time. We'll go just a bit longer here, just kind of get that blood flowing. Hope everybody's doing well during this uh, stay at home. All right, everybody's looking good here. Let's start with the chair now. So if you have a chair next to you, let's put the leg out to the side. Let's do that 15 times. So we'll go one, two, make sure you tighten in your tummy as you do it. Seven, eight, nine, ten. If you feel like you have to stop, go ahead. Otherwise, we'll keep going with five more. Do what you can do. You may not be able to do all the repetitions, and that's just fine. Now we're going to do the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Good, you'll be feeling that kind of in that buttock area and in the side of the hip. Okay, you can stop there and we'll go five more. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Now with your leg, just let it uh, relax a little bit as you kind of just stretch it out now, kind of side to side. Just let it relax. Fling back and forth, nice and easy. It'll kind of help stretch those hips and relax them now that we've been working them. And I would say do around 10 of those. One more, okay, and then we'll go to the other side. Okay, you may feel a little burning in your hips and that's okay, that's not hurting anything. Just keep it moving. That'll kind of help limber you up. Get you back to those household chores you're dying to do. I sometimes lose track of the count, so that's okay. Just go to it's feeling good. And you can pause at any time to do more or, or go get a drink of water. Okay. Now in that chair, we're gonna do some sit to stands. So if you can, you'd rather have your hands out so you're not using them here, here. If you can, you can hang on if you need to. So let's start out here. Let's just go one. I just put my bottom down on the chair and back up. Good, looking good. Six, seven. Like I said, you can always go like this. Nine, ten. If you want to go five more, go for it. You can always hang on if you need to have this. So you have a little support back with your chair. That's fine too. Five. Good. All right. Now, hopefully we've got the hips and the uh, legs moving. So now let's do a little bit with the arms. Now you can either sit or you can stand and do these. So let's just start with... Coming up and down here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Okay, now let's go from our shoulders up to the ceiling. So we'll go one. Okay, if this bothers you, 
You can do alternating. You can do it like that. When you're doing it, tighten in through your tummy as you go. Two, three, four. Keep that chin tucked in too. Good, okay? Now let's do the jumping jack motion. One, two. Again, if that hurts, have your hands up. Make sure they're in the up position. You can always come a little bit forward and do it. You don't have to be right to the side. You don't have to go all the way up. Okay, just go what you can, what your arm allows. Okay, let's do five more. One, two, three, four, five. Good, now we'll go straight up, straight up. Okay, tighten in through the tummy, don't arch your back. Keep your chin tucked in. Good. Again, you can always alternate if you'd rather do it that way. And again, if it hurts your shoulder, maybe it can't go all the way up, and that's okay too. Okay? So just keep going. The body was made to move, so we want to keep it moving. We want to get you strong so when spring comes, you can go out and do all those chores you want to do around your home. Good, and we'll just do five more going, both of them. Okay, make sure you don't arch your back. Just keep your tummy tucked in as you go. Five, good. And now with a lot of sitting we're doing, we just wanna do a little bit where we're gonna go. One, kind of stretch those pecs out. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now let's just kind of roll through those shoulders, kind of relax them. Four. So we just want to go up and back. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Now, if your neck's feeling a little bit tight, let's go ahead and stretch. You're gonna pull down your hand and tip off to the side. You can go a little bit forward if you would like, or just to the side. Find out where you feel a little pull. You wanna get a little tug and hold that for about 30 seconds. Okay, and then we'll do the other side. Hold that arm down, go to the side, and you'll feel it right up through here. So watch your posture when you're in your chair, watching TV, using your phone, using your computer. You don't want that head coming forward and kind of slumping. We want to make sure we're up nice and tall, get that chin tucked back in, get that good posture. Always tighten in that tummy too. So that looks good. Now, a couple more we can do is just to work on your balance. So you may want to have a chair and what you're gonna do is first, we're gonna stand on one leg only. So you're gonna stand. Now, if you need help, you may need your arms out. If you need less help, you can have them down in. If you need more help, you can always touch on the chair. So let's try to go for at least five seconds. 10 seconds would be great that you could stand on that one leg, okay? So use the support you need. We don't want you falling down. And then we'll switch to the other side, okay? work on balancing, okay? If that's not challenging for you, just have your hands down by your side. If it's too challenging, bring your arms out. So you determine how you're doing that. Good, try to aim for 10 seconds if you can. Keep trying it, okay? But always be safe. You have a chair right next to you, maybe even a bed. So you're in between things. You can do it in your doorway. That's a good place to do it. Then we're gonna go heel to toe like a tandem stance and you're just going to balance. Right now I have my right leg back, my left one in front. It's heel to toe. Again, if I need more support, I can have my arms out here. If I need less, I can go here. If you really wanna challenge, if you move your head side to side, that will increase the difficulty Going side to side. Again, aim for 10 seconds. 
Okay, then I'm switching my legs. Left legs in back, right legs in front. We're going to try to balance there. And don't give up. If you lose your balance and have to grab on, just try again. Just reset and start going again. All right. So I hope those exercises helped you today. And you can uh, start with those just to get yourself moving. Again, if you have any questions, just give Promotion a call at 399-9565. Have a great day. Bye-bye.